Well, our show is a university, you know. Yeah, man. We're here to teach and to learn. Exactly. Right? We have to listen to learn, you know? Yeah, you have to teach and to learn. Yeah. Because if you don't want to learn, then it doesn't make sense to teach because no one don't know everything, you know? No, sir. You everyone get... Man. It's like a jigsaw puzzle where everyone get a little slice. That's a little we right. We put the slices together, but we're too busy cussing each other and telling one another what to do with one another mother. Right? Mm -hmm. True. Miss the whole point. <laughs> Your first card right here now is called the King of Conception. How old you are? Um, I'll be 47 December. 47. You have, you have children? No. My brethren, this first card is the King of Conception. You're supposed to make somebody conceive, you know? <laughs> and that didn't go on? No, sir. Anyway, you ever got married? Never. Uh, hear me now, hear me now. Just lie low, lie low, okay? Because yeah. you, someday you're going to get married, all right? Okay. And somebody's going to get pregnant. Okay, I know I know. it's not me going to get pregnant. I know it's not you going to get pregnant, but somebody. Okay. Whoever, whoever she is, you'll find out, right? I would love that. Uh, most likely she will love that too. Yeah. Your second card here now is called Prudence. Suggesting that you need to learn to save my brethren. Yeah. Do you save anything? Yeah, man, I'm saving now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I'm adapting. I'm saving. Just say, I'm saving now. Because you're going to need it, you know? Yes, man. This card, Prudent, shows that you will end up living to a good old age. Yeah. And have a nice, nice savings. Yeah. I'm saving now, man. And Zero you're going to have saving. a son. That would be good, man. Well, he, he may decide to join the army. You may not want him to do that, but, you know, young people have a mind of their own, right? Oh, it's his choice. It's his choice, you know? Uh, but yeah, you have certain armies you may not want him to join, you know? Oh, okay. You have army and you have you have certain army where if your son go join that one, you're not sure if, you, if you're if you going to see him again, you know? Oh, okay. Because you have certain countries that walk and trouble people. <laughs> right? Yes. yes, man, I know. I and then know. them send your son to go kill people that them don't him don't know nothing about, you know? And his son not come back, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man. Casualty of war. <laughs> King man. Then you have some man who come back home after doing all kind of weird things for the army, right? Yes. And you know them man have them man have a thing called post traumatic stress disorder. Yes, man, they know themselves. My brethren, listen to me. You don't have nothing. Name post traumatic stress disorder, you know. It's a guilty conscience disorder. Right. Actually, it's a guilty conscience order. Where right. they're being ordered to use some conscience now because the good book said thou shalt not go around killing people. Right? True. And behold, they went and did just that. And do that. And when they come back home now, them can't even reason up, reason with themselves because the, everything look awful. Right. Because of what they've been doing for their country. Right. 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 Remember, you know, if your son joined the Jamaican army, you know, you may not have much to worry about, right? True. But if you join certain big army out there, yes, you have to well, pray. I'm, hey, you have to pray. Oh, gosh, you know? man, you have to pray, you know. Yeah, but anything can know. play, right? No, must come back. Listen, man, the Third World War is about to start, you know. I realize it, man. And Russia Mr. right now drafting young people to fight, you know. Mr. Putin, you know? Yeah, no, listen, listen. Yeah, Mr. Putin don't really have no choice. No, that may sound ridiculous, but it's true, right? Yeah, man, me have a light, you know. So, yeah, you know? and then you know, America gonna say that they don't have no choice. They gonna start draft our boys. Right, right, right. And who gonna run back home now? Get no flight, you know? Because nah, no Americans gonna say we never, we never send car, you. <laughs> <laughs> you file to come here, fingernail file and toenail file, so come. So Take up yeah. that gun there and go and do this. That's true, man. And then we gonna be praying. Hey, all we gonna ball. That's true. You know what I mean? It'll affect everybody. All of we going oh, Listen, man. It's going to affect everyone. A world war is not a simple matter. Everyone. You know? Everyone it going affect, man. Yeah. A world war is not a simple matter, you know? Mm hmm I know the weirdest thing. You know we've never had a world war before? Yeah. Because the first two big wars, they were, they were European tribal wars, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely, yes. But to the Europe, Europe they conquer... Enough Germany, African countries, and stuff like that, uh, yeah. conquer Caribbean countries, and just send our people up front mm -hmm. to just, you know? Just try, you know? So everybody, some everybody in the world feel that. Mm -hmm. But if they have a third world, we're not if, when. It's, it's going to be wickeder than the last two, you know? 
a true man. Right? It's time run, to show hey, that. listen. Enough countries in Europe right now run out of water, something like water. Rivers drying up in certain parts of Germs, many of them places, you know. Right. So then, gonna be looking for little Jamaica and say, "Yo, them people got water down there racing. What <laughs> tech with that? They don't want to buy that. They don't want tech with that. Yeah, man, I'm gonna come in with some measures to get it. Yeah, <laughs> and look away. Can we fight big bad America? No. Can we, we really have... fight Germs, many? We not have no missiles. <laughs> uh, boy, I may tell you. Hey, it, it, it's sad, man. It's serious. Yeah, Every time I take a bath, for it, no, I smile. I give True. thanks because oh, yeah. so for now some tomorrow. weird looking guys gonna want the water and say me can't get a bath now because them come for that. <laughs> and what are we gonna shoot them with catapult? Uh. Sure. <laughs> you have a you have a you have a, a, a card here called the Empress, which means that you gonna have a wife that is really worth it, my Bridget. Yes, sir. What happened to your mother? She died from ninety five. What, hap- what happened to her, man? Somebody stab her and kill her. My brethren. Yeah. When him stab your mother? Uh, the two, um, it was like she witnessed somebody I get murdered and him just stab her, you know? Oh. Or them witness, she witnessed somebody I get beat up or something, you know, something like that. And oh, boy. One of the, listen, yeah, man, yeah, listen. Uh, you know. Your mother want you to know that them stab her and rub her out of her physical body but she's still alive and well on the other side yeah yeah she's with grandpa now <laughs> and that crew yeah and she cool she understand why that had to happen right okay in other words what happened to her is what she actually did to someone before <laughs> and the someone who did it to her now is the someone she did it to so she understand that now okay and she want you to don't feel no way, no. Yeah. Because yeah. she she live on in her children. She right. see the world through her children's eyes, right? Yeah. She have grandchildren? Ah, uh, no, no. No grandchildren. No. Uh, that that is the sad part. Sure. When you don't have grandchildren or children. That's a sad. That's a sadder thing than it look, you know, because then you have a problem coming back to earth. I know because that. remember that you're great. You got five fingers on every hand and five toes on every foot, right? Yeah. Hence, your great 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 grandfather was you, you know. Okay. And his great 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 grandfather was you. Yeah. And his great 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 grand. So your spirit can be traced back beyond the slave ship, right oh. into ancient Nubia. Right. Ancient Al Kabbalah in Africa, you know. Okay. Right? So making a child is crucial to you coming back to the planet. Right. You understand? But hold on. If you get a jacket, take it, you know. <laughs> Even if it don't have all the buttons, you know, because him, you know. Yeah. If you can take care of a child, right? Right. Then you can still book passage Look in her. that child's bloodline because you've earned that. Right. Some man get jacket and run left it, you know. <laughs> I don't know if them think a fourth leg is in the pocket or what, but they run left it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Right. Or they run left a blessing. Okay, yeah. So even if it's not you, make a child. If you can take care of one. Listen, if you don't even make them get in a jacket, become somebody's pitney godfather. Right. And be there for that child, okay? Yes, sir. Anyone who don't have, I'm putting this to anyone who don't have a child. Become someone's godfather or someone's godmother. Be there for that child. Right? Yeah. So that you can book your ticket back to planet Earth. Because you're only here on the planet for a few days, you know. A few metaphorical years, you know. True. But you will someday you're going to leave and you're going to need to come back. True. So... Find a little youngster and care for him or her, okay? Yes, sir. There's a son here. Whether he's biological or not, that don't matter. He yeah. will find you or you will find him or you'll get him or he'll get you. Definitely. But no, you have a... Not definitely, man. The word is lifeinately. We don't know life we're talking about, man. Yes, lifeinately, sir. right? Yeah. Definitely is about death, you know. Lifeinately is about life, right? Right. Birth and rebirth. But now you got a matching queen for the king, which means that your wife is going to be someone that 
really was worth the wait, you know? Yes. Someone that really worth it, okay? Okay. You have another card here now, and it's called the Hangman. Any diabetes in your family? Not that I know of. Listen, it is important that you do everything in your power to not become diabetic, you know? Okay. Eat as much green leafy vegetables as you can. Yes, sir. Do not abuse the eating of rice. Okay. How often do you eat rice? Uh, Sometimes every other day. Sometimes every day? Every other day. No, not every day. Rice is really not our food, you know? Yeah. Rice is food for Chinese and some kinds of Indians, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need to eat proper food. Yeah, man. Rice is not proper food. Rice don't have no vitamins, no minerals, you know? Okay. It's empty. It's a shell. It is empty. Right. So, eat rice on Sunday. Uh, hopefully if, it's a week. Yeah. Even one day a week or two, but not every other day like that. You become diabetic. Okay. Because a, a plate of rice in your belly turns into a plate of sugar, you know. Right. You have another card here, so no. And it's called strength. Suggesting that either A, your wife will be a great source of strength in your life. Or B, you'll have a daughter who'll be a great source of strength in your life. Or C, your child will be a great source of strength in your life. Right? Yeah. Or that the memory of your mother has been a great source of strength in your life. <laughs> you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now, you have a pen? Uh, I can get one second. It is now 12.46 in Jamaica. You're listening to yeah, Wisdom man. Unveiling on the Upper Deck. I have a pen. Okay, good. Have you been getting any back pain? Um, sometimes. What part of your back? Sometimes I'm um, in the lower back. But right no near again. to your waistline? Yes. How often that happens? No one again, like probably every two months or so, not often. Listen, don't take that lightly, okay? Yeah. You are, you are pinching a nerve there. Okay. So, there's a herb called white willow bark that may help you. White? White willow. W-I-L-L-O-W. White willow bark. Uh, okay. All right. Right. You can buy it to any herbal shop. Most herbal shops sell it. To drink a cup of that at night before you go to bed, or and a cup of that in the mornings when you wake up, will uh -huh. prove to be extremely beneficial to you. Okay. Do you have a question? No, man. No, no question. Okay. Oh, any travel? Any travel? Yes, any you will. You will travel. You travel before? Never. Never. You ever apply for visa? No. You have a passport? Yes. You will travel, man. Oh, okay. You will travel even if it is about your woman. Right. But you will travel. Okay. That's a guarantee, okay? All right. Man. So take it easy. And remember, it is nice to be nice. See? Yeah, man. Respect, man. Yeah, it's nice to be nice even to a beggar. Even to yes. a man that look like him, no ready, like him, no worth it. Right. The only time we should look down upon a man is if we are actually admiring his shoes <laughs> or giving him a new pair of shoes. All right? Yeah. Yes, but we right. shouldn't look down upon no one because the same man you look down upon this week could win the lottery next two years and you go have to go beg him a thing. You know what I mean? That's true, man. You don't know how things going to work out for you nor for yeah. another man, you know? True, true. So let us just keep our heads, heads held high. Yes, man. And get to really know ourselves and the people we meet along the way, okay? Yes, man. Take care now. Yeah, my respect. Blessed. It's now 1248 in Jamaica. So let's go to our phone lines now before somebody get real upset. Greetings. Good Greetings. night. Good night. Yeah, good night. How you do? I'm... Um, Good so far. So far. So how can we help yes. you? Could I get a card reading? Yes, man. You ever did it before? Um, three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. 
Okay, so you're you're long overdue by three years, right? Yeah, yes. So let's do it. Call any number in the range of one to ten. I'm six. Hold on. Come again. Four. Come again. Nine. Come again. Seven. Come again. Three. Come again. One. Come again. Eight. That's it. Okay, now your first card here is called Instability. How old are you now? 64. 64. When is your birthday? The third of the 4th, 58. 1968? 58, 58. 68? 58, 58. 1958? Yeah. Okay. Okay. 1958. Now, in an Afrocentric way, we say you're from the house of Kamau, okay? Yes. It is important to know these things. Yes. What is your birth sign? Um, Aries. Aries. Yeah. So. Yeah, Aries are, are spicy, one of them. Wait, wait, man, you can't wait, wait. You say you're born the, the, the third of yes, April? Sir. Yeah. The third of April, right? Yeah. The third of April, you should be, you should be Aries. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, if a man asks you what tribe you're from, you should be able to answer the man. Yeah. Right? For too long, we couldn't answer no one, these things. Okay. But we must be able to finally answer these things. Answer these things. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yeah. Now, you said 3rd of April, right? Yes, sir. Aries is March 21 to April 19. Okay. So you want 3rd of April, then you'll be Aries, right? Yeah. But from an Afrocentric standpoint, we don't call you Aries, you know, because you're not Aryan. In other words, you're not Caucasian. In other words, you're not European. Okay. Right? Okay. Your African tribe is Ashanti. Okay? Yes, sir. So you're an Ashanti warrior. Ashanti is a beautiful tribe out of Ghana, you know. Oh. Okay. I'll tell you more. Uh-huh. Your lucky fruit. Your power fruit is a mango, you know? Yeah. You eat mango? Yes, man. I love it. You like Julie? Yep. You like East Indian? Yes, both of them. Uh, and you don't mind eating number 11, right? No, I don't mind eating number 11. Yeah, but you don't really want no blackie to that because too much blackie in your area or or is, is the string you fight against? What we say? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Me, me, me go with all of them, man. But they... they Julia, the East Indian. Yeah, them is the kings. Them is the kings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your your power fruit is mango. Okay. So anyhow you're feeling down, you can get a mango. That should perk you up, okay? Okay. But wait, there's more. Your birthstone. You know your birthstone? No. Your birthstone is the stone of all stones, man. It's called a diamond. Okay. Yes, man. Right? It's yeah. not just a European supposed to wear diamonds. Diamonds is a, is a stone that he can get if... If one of your bread you never go under the earth and, t- and, 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 and dig it out, you know. Okay. So anyhow, you can get a diamond ring to wear. You wear that. All right. Yeah. No true. That's on wood. Yes, man. You see, listen, a diamond, right? Yeah. Can stabilize you in a way that you wouldn't even believe, you know. Okay. Diamonds attract money, you know. Yeah. But you think most rich men wearing diamonds. Think about that. Um, uh, a, a lot money. of wives, most wives' wedding ring have a little diamond in it, right? Yes. And then pull the money from them husbands. Oh, and a lot okay. of the husbands don't have no ring. So they, he make her wear diamonds and him stay without ring. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Both of them shall have the diamonds, no true? Yes, yes. And yes. You're, you, you, you know, you know what, what day is your lucky day? No. Tuesday. Oh. 
Mm hmm. Right? Yeah. So if you want to sue a man, just put him in court on a Tuesday. Yeah. And see what happens. Right? Yes, sir. And then now, your herb. What's your lucky herb, my brethren? You have certain herb, you know, mm-hmm. that if you can walk with some of that in your, in your billfold, you know, a piece of that, it can be very helpful. It's, there's a herb called anise. A N I S E. Anise. A N I S E. Yes, man. Anise is a herb that you can cook with, it's a, it's a culinary herb. Like thyme or marjoram. Okay. But anise now is a herb that promotes peacefulness in your life if you are a shanty. Okay? Okay. okay. Now think about that. Mm-hmm. It's about time we know what's going on with our tribes, right? Yeah. The man them teeth you from certain tribes, you know. Mm-hmm. And think that to the end of time we, we must never find ourselves. Them lie. Yeah. All right. Yes. So hear me now. Mm-hmm. You have another card here now, and it's beauty. You have a daughter? Yes. How many daughters do you have? Three. Mm-hmm. So how you get along with the smallest one? Well, so far, when she ready, she gave me a call. How old she is now? 22. She call you now and then? Yeah. Which one you closer to? Uh, the second, the second. The second and the first. Okay. Listen to me. Yes. You see that younger daughter? Yeah. It is important that you call her sometime. Okay. Right? Yeah. You hardly ever call her? Yeah, me hardly call her. You hardly ever call her, right? Yeah, yeah. That is a mistake on your side, on your part. Okay. All right? Yeah. A big, big mistake, a huge mistake too. There's another card here now, and it's called the Hermit, suggesting that um, you're a man who loves to know the truth. Yes. And therefore, you're open to knowledge. Yes. Right? This card, the Hermit, suggests that you shall live to a good old age. Yes. There's another card here that shows unity, which means that your love life is going to improve. How's your love life right now? It's good. Uh, it's good? Yes. All right. Well, it can only improve. It can only get better, right? Yes. Yeah. There's another card in now called speed. There's going to be speedy changes in your life for the better. Okay. You have another card in now called content, suggesting that you will end up very contented with your life. You have your own house? Yes. All right. So you've, you've done fairly well, right? Yes. And then there's a son. You have any sons? You have any sons that you can talk about? Are you there? Phone card must be run out. Anyway, if you don't have a son, you're going to have a grandson that's going to be closer to you than any of your daughters. So, keep an eye on the young people. Communicate with your children. It is a mistake to not do that. This, my friend, is wisdom unveiling. It's now 105, five minutes after one o'clock. Greetings. Good night. Good night. Yeah, how you do? Majesty. That's right. Yeah, man. I would have like I, I would have like a read up on you. Okay, let's do it. You ready? Yeah, man. All right, call any number in the range of one to ten. Five. Five. Hold on, hold on. Come again. Seven. Come again. Six. Come again. Eight. Come again. Nine. Come again. Ten. Come again. Five. Okay, your first card here is a card that shows that you need to pay some special attention to either a pain that you have 
in your lower abdomen or somewhere near your navel, right? Right. You get any pain in that region? Yeah, man. You ever had any hernia? No, no. But there's something wrong. Is something happening? Is happening in that region, though? Yeah, yeah. You went to the doctor about it? Yes. And what did the doctor say? Then give me medication. I'm gonna take it. But right now, man, it, the pain when you in the pain, they give me a. a did the doctor you. check your prostate? Yes, yes. What him say about that? Me, uh, me, 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 is it enlarged? Yeah, but yeah, inside when get enlarged. Uh huh. The, the pain have something to do with a hernia, though. Is that so? Yes. You need to go and get X-rays done. Check it out properly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's between prostate problem and a hernia problem. You need to figure out which one it is. Oh, yes. Because you haven't been tested properly. Right. Okay? Yeah, okay. You have been, the service, the medical service that you have has not been full. True. Uh, so you need to get that done properly, all right? Yes. You have another card here now, and it's called Despair. How was your eyes? Well, yeah, they am all right. Me can't see out of them all right. And they're no pain in me. Good. But despair is a card that shows that there's still something that you cannot see. Something is happening that you can't see. Is that so? So you really need a proper medical checkup, okay? Yes. So if it's not your physical eyes, then it's your spiritual eye. But you're not seeing, you're not getting enough clarity as to what is really going on, right? Yeah. Is that so? You have another card here now, and it's called the priestess. Have you ever been married? No, no. Are you in love? Not at all, you know. Uh huh. What is your age now? Eighty-four. Okay. Well, hear me now. A woman is going to help you, you know. Is that so? Yeah. It may not be a romantic thing, but it's going to be a, a good, friendly thing. Yeah. A woman is going to help you because you need help. Right. You need somebody who can really assist you. Okay. And who will have the patience yes. to, to assist you, right? Truly. And a female will be better than a male based on what you need, on your needs, okay? Okay. You have another card here now, and it's the king of conception. Did you have children? Yes. Where these children are now? Then they buy them one. Them check for you? Yeah, man, yeah, man. And one live with me. me. One of my son live with me. That's a good thing. Because the king of conception is a man who would have have would have children, right? Yeah. And who would have um, enjoyed his company as a father, you know? Sure. Some children don't enjoy their father's company, you know. Right. Because some some men don't behave right with children, you know. Yes. Some yes. men behave as though they're born big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Right. You have to have patience with young people. Yeah, man. Because just, yeah. how, just how man don't listen to the word of God. Uh, yeah. Children don't listen to the word of their parents. Sure. Yeah, man. But me and my own them get along with. Well. Good. You have another card here now, and it's a son. But this son look more like a grandson. How much grandsons do you have? Uh, three. Okay. There's a particular grandson who is going to end up becoming either very artistic or very musical, right? Yeah. You have another character you know called the Chariot. You ever used to drive? Yes, yes, yes. But you, you give it up? Yes, yeah, we give up that. Uh-huh. All right. Someone close to you is getting a car soon. Yes. Then there's a character you know called Skills suggesting that you're still skillful in some business areas, you know. Yes, that's all. Yes. Um, you can be retired, but you still need to sometimes do some critical thinking and come up with some ideas. Yes, sir. The young people can deal with the ideas, but you need to still be creative of ideas. Never find yourself useless, you know. Okay. 
You ever used to do farming? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You still do farming? A little bit too years, in, you know, to and the pain, but me still do a little. If you're doing the farming, do not use a peck. Here? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Even if you use a fork, don't use a peck. It's going to put a strain on you. Yes, You yes. strain right around your navel area. Truly. And, and that, that is not going to be, that it wouldn't work out good for you at all if you use a peck, here. Yeah? Yeah, okay. All right. Now, what is bothering you most of all? The pain when me urine. Now, that has something to do with the, with what we're talking about all this time. Yeah. And it has something to do with your prostate as well. Okay. You need to drink, you know what is corn silk? Yeah, right, the corn here. Yes. Yeah. That's very good, but there's a herb that would help you Name Juniper. Juniper berries. Yes. Okay? Yes. You can buy juniper berries at almost any herbal shop. Which parish you live in? St. James. You live near Montego Bay? Right. Well, there's herbal shops in Montego Bay that would have juniper berries. Yes, I go Montego Bay regular. Yeah, man. Get juniper berries and... Drink tea, make tea with that, and drink often, like okay. even as often as three times a day. Okay. And if you mix it with the corn silk, that would be excellent. Yeah. Don't forget the word is juniper. Juniper berries, okay. Berry. Okay. All right. Now you have any other issues? No, not at all. Not right now. Okay. So what? When? What? When is your birth date? The 20th of November, 20th of next month, 1938, my born. You born November 20? 20? Yeah, the 20th of November, 1938. 1938. That's a long time you've been around, man. Yeah, man. 1938. 1938 suggests that um, you you are a chicky person, which means that you're born the year of the tiger. Yeah. Right? That's quite a um, tigers. Are usually, people that very loved, you know. You're right. Everybody kind of rally around you when you're around, right? Truly. Tigers make very expensive mistakes still, but as you grow older, you will find that people love you. Right. What is important is that you don't allow yourself to be upset by the young people, you know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You have to. Uh, reason with them. Okay. Even though you may never really understand why them do what them do. Yeah. Yeah. But do you know your prayer time? No. You have to give me that time. Listen, man. It is very important that yes. you know your prayer time, you know. Your You're prayer right. time is 3 a.m. Right. To 5 AM. So between three o'clock and, and five o'clock in the night, right? Okay, okay. It's the perfect time for you to pray or meditate or do your critical thinking. Okay. It's also good if you can face your guardian angel. Your guardian angel at that time is situated in the east northeast. That means you need to face the east and turn an inch to the left. Okay. And you'll be facing your Guardian angel. Okay? Okay. So you take care, man. Yeah. Take and it the, easy. And the, and the herb again, what's the guard, the doctor, sh- yeah, medic, me, me, me write it down. Um, Jennifer. J. J. No, J U N. J U N. I P P E R. I P P. E R. E R, right. Jennifer Berries, right? B E R R I E B E R R I E S. Jennifer Berries. B E R R I E S. I E S. And you can mix it with a herb that is very healing for the prostate called saw 
palmetto. You can get saw palmetto at basically at any pharmacy. You don't yeah, even have to go to a herbal yeah, shop for yeah. that. That can get at any pharmacy. Yes. And the, the can here, as you say. Right? Yes. Saw palmetto. Okay. Mix that with jennifer berries and you're good to go, man. Okay, all right. Okay? Okay, thanks. And you see, if you're, if you're finding a lot of discomfort, what you can do is take a regular sits bath. Do you know what's a sits bath? No. It's like no. you get one of those bath pan with people used to wash clothes, right? You're right, right. And you, yeah. ha- you half fill it with hot water, right? Yeah. As warm as you can handle it, right? You okay? And you get a basin and you half fill it with warm water as well. You, okay. you get a towel and, and wet it with cold water from the pipe and wrap it around your neck, right? Yeah. And then you just go sit down in this big bath pan of hot water and put your two feet in the basin of hot water and just easy. No, okay. And sit down and watch your TV, yeah, man. Yeah. For about man. a good 30 minutes every night, right? Okay. And that may actually give you some beautiful relief. Okay. Okay? Okay. Because if you're growing... Anything in the form of any kind of um, hernia, you will get some relief. Okay. If the prostate is enlarged, it will shrink it a bit and give you some relief. Okay? Okay. So take care now. All the best sometimes. Bless it. Take it easy. Cool. Good. It's now 18 minutes after one in Jamaica.